the Shaolin nine-section chain. From the initial position, sweep down low and stretch the left arm up. Stamp the ground and pull the left leg in. After a short run, do a somersault, keeping the chain folded together in the right hand. Now the chain is unfolded and the turn forward from the side begins. Twirl the chain around the armpit to the other side and back around the upper arm. Repeat three times. On the fourth time, pivot the body as well. And increase the momentum with the shoulder. Again with a jump. And pull over the shoulders again. The chain is slowed above the shoulders and pinned with the left hand. Low back stance. And now the turn backwards begins. Twist from the upper arm, turning the body. This alters the direction of the turn. I employ the left upper arm to begin the twirl. Now the twisting starts around the neck, around the armpit, and over the neck again, beginning the jumping motion. Twist from the upper arm and change directions. Change the direction of the chain with your leg and turn the body. Repeat twice. First under the armpit, then around the neck. Now change directions to a horizontal twirl. Over the head and around the neck. Secure the chain, forward position. Now the horizontal twirls follow. Begin above the head. Jump up and pull the chain through the legs. Repeat this movement a number of times. This leaping technique resembles the butterfly in Western gymnastics. To wind out, twirl the chain above the head a few times. Finally, secure it on the body and assume a sitting position.
Rise again and twirl it around your body from the opposite direction, secure under the armpit, and complete the form. And now the entire form at normal speed. The nine-section chain is one of the most challenging weapons to learn of the Shaolin. Aside from the mastery of the weapon's technique, it requires certain acrobatic abilities. The twirling motion of the chains are executed on the side of the body, backwards and forwards, horizontally, as well as over and under the body. To change directions, one uses the shoulder, armpit, the neck, the upper arm, or the legs. The chain should be tensed during all twirling motions. The spike at the end of the tip is the point of attack of the weapon. The chi flows from the body to the tip of the chain. The entire body guides the chain. It must be twirled with speed and without interruptions. Most of all, beginners should be very careful not to injure themselves. For this reason, the separate parts of the form should be practiced individually and slowly before attempting to complete the entire form.